Namaste beautiful yogis. This is going to be a deep hip opening sequence. Power Vinyasa Yoga. Let's begin at the front of our mat. Bring your hands all the way over your head and reach up towards the ceiling. Pull the belly in. Press into the inner and outer edges of your feet. And let's bring the hands over the third eye and over the heart. Bringing the attention to the breath. Big breath in, hands over the head. Exhale, hands over the third eye. And over the heart. One more time, inhale, lift, reaching over the head. And let's clasp the fingers and reach over to the right keeping the shoulders aligned inhale back to center exhale over to the left side press into your right foot here keep your shoulders down and back to center exhale your hands all the way down coming into a forward bend You can take a few breaths in here. Allowing your head to be heavy. Look over to your left and over to your right. Relaxing your jaw. Making sure your face muscles are relaxed, softening the facial expression. Gazing softly. And let's bring the hands over to the left ankle and bring your chest over the left leg back to center and over to the right back to center hands on the floor inhale look ahead of you and let's bring the palms of the hands on the floor and step back into plank Pull the belly in and press your heels away from you. Spread your fingers open. Look a few inches in front of your hands. Breathe deeply. And lower down chaturanga inhale upward facing dog roll your shoulders back and down lengthen the back of your neck widening the back back to chaturanga exhaling downward facing dog drawing the navel in towards the spine udiana bandha and you can walk in place here, bending one knee at a time. Breathe into your hamstrings, soften the back of your legs. Gently pressing one heel at a time down towards the floor. Stretching the calves, the ankles. And let's come on to the tippy toes. Lifting the tailbone as high as we can. Walk your feet to the front of the mat. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Hands over the third eye and over the heart. Big breath in, chair pose. Reach over your head. Exhale, hands down on the floor, forward bend, 
inhale look ahead of you flat back step your feet all the way back plank and chaturanga inhale upward facing dog extending the tailbone down to protect your lower back here back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog inhale right leg comes up keep your hip square exhale step your right foot between your hands come up high lunge reaching over your head pressing the back heel away from you extending the tailbone down hands over the heart in prayer lower the back heel down on the floor and open into warrior two sink a little deeper here into your stance making sure your right knee is pointing directly forward and let's turn the right hand palm facing up and reach up and over the head walking the left hand down the left leg keep your right knee bent slowly come back to center warrior two hold and breathe reach way ahead of you and lower the right hand on the inside of the right foot making sure both sides of your torso are equally elongated here we're not just elongating the top part of the body but we're elongating the right side of the torso here reaching over the head pressing the outer edge of the left foot down finding a lot of length here and bring both hands on the floor on the inside of your right foot lower your left knee down on the floor making sure it's as far back as you can and hold here breathe extending the tailbone down softening the hip flexor great let's come up and walk the hands to the center of the mat bend your right knee and straighten your left leg you can come all the way to sit it or as far as your flexibility allows here stretching that left inner thigh and here you can just come into a side lunge and press your hips back change sides and stretch the right inner thigh hamstring here flex your foot really pull the toes back in towards you and side lunge pressing the hips as far back as you can here the back is flat great walk your hands to the front of the mat step back plank chaturanga inhale upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog inhale left leg comes up step the left foot between the hands come up high lunge strong belly hands over the heart and let's lower the right heel on the floor warrior two relax the shoulders sink a little deeper here lift the arches of your feet off the mat keeping the toes spread open turn the left hand up and reach up and over your head walk the right hand down the right leg keep the left knee bent here and find length through your torso back to warrior two and exhale in side angle left hand hand on the inside of the left foot reaching over your head with your right hand pressing to the outer edge of the right foot lengthen breathe find space both hands on the floor on the inside of the left foot 
lower your right knee on the floor tuck the tailbone under and really breathe into your hip flexor here we're also stretching and opening the hip on the left side preparing for hip openers later on in the class we're gonna build on the hip openers going deeper and deeper great and let's lift the back knee off the floor and come into the center bring the hands into the center of your mat sit or stretch over to one side here I'm clasping my hands behind me if you can do that try or do it flex your right foot look over your shoulder breathe and change sides wrapping your right hand around the right leg open the chest widen the back drop the shoulders down breathe into your inner thigh great coming out of this Back to the front of the mat, stepping in plank, chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, open the chest, back to chaturanga, exhale downward facing dog, inhale right leg comes up, roll the right hip on top of the left hip and draw your circles with your right knee. Really explore the flexibility and openness of your hip here. Lift through your knee. Flex your toes. You can lower onto your left forearm and continue lifting through your knee. And let's step the right foot behind us wow thing really lifting the hips as high as you can here extending the tailbone down open the chest you can reach back and grab your foot right hand right ankle and slowly reversing the movement coming into a side plank onto the left side left hand on the floor hips are lifted lower both hands on the floor plank chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog inhale the left leg up roll the left hip on top of the right lift your left knee as high as you can as high as you can sometimes you think you have gone as far as you can and you don't realize there is a whole nother level that you can explore sometimes the limitation is in the mind so try to see where you can take your body once you open your mind Great, and step back into wild thing. Lift your hips as high as you can. Feel your chest opening, your heart expanding. And you can grab your left ankle with your left hand here. You can even lift your foot off the floor. Slowly coming out of this, prepare for side plank. Right hand on the floor stacking the hips on top of each other shoulders on top of each other inner thigh squeezing towards the midline great and bring both hands on the floor 
you can lower your right forearm on the floor lifting through your knee to finish this sequence finding a lift finding space great step both legs down in downward facing dog inhale right leg comes up right foot between the hands come up warrior two finding strength and grace softness at the same time voice slight extension in the tailbone here as well and let's bring the right hand on the inside of the right foot lengthen your torso either stay here or go into the next level clasping behind if you're clasping behind or even if you're not straighten your right leg and come into a bound triangle pose once you're in triangle really lengthen both sides of your torso really press into the outer and inner edges of your feet keeping the clasp Come into a side lunge, we already did one, this time it's a little <laughs> more difficult and walk your feet to the center of your mat, you're gonna stand onto your left foot and come up into bird of paradise pose, still holding the clasp and lifting that foot, that leg extended, flex your toes, spread them open. and release come into tree pose right foot on the inside of the left inner thigh press the foot into the inner thigh and the inner thigh into the foot next we're gonna bring the ankle over the left knee right ankle over the left knee and either stay here or come into a squat and bring your right elbow on the inside of your right foot hands in prayer open the chest slowly coming out of this you can stay here hands on the floor and stay here or lift into an arm balance lifting the left leg behind you here I'm gonna just work on the progression of this arm balance bringing the foot forward left foot forward left leg forward either stay here or you can even wrap it around and reverse the movement so we can come into one legged squat three pose hands on the floor and you can come up to standing and now we can grab the right ankle with the right hand and stretch again the quadriceps great face the back of your room bring your hands on the floor and jump into chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga and exhale downward facing dog walking in place coming back to your breath spread the fingers wide open shoulders away from the ears inhale the left leg up Step the left foot between the hands. And come up warrior two, vera two. Let's lower the left hand on the inside of the left foot. 
coming into side angle and you can clasp behind if you're working with this progression of the pose next is to come into a bound triangle pose straightening both legs and really try to open and lengthen the spine here opening that right hip on top of the left hip spinning it open next bound side lunge and step your feet to the center of the mat still holding the clasp Begin to come up to standing, standing on your right leg, look over to your right and straighten the left leg. Keep your chest open and tailbone extended slightly down. And transition into tree pose. Keep opening the left knee back so that the knee is in the same plane with the rest of your body and begin to come into a squat left ankle over the right knee hands in prayer see if you can bring your left elbow inside of the sole of the left foot do your best here shoulders down and you can come back to center hands on the floor you can stay here or you can experiment with some form of an arm balance Holding the knee high off the floor here and bring the foot down on the floor. Straighten the leg. Back to tree pose. Come up to standing. And let's bring the hands over the heart. Grab your foot behind you with your left hand, extending the knee down, extending the tailbone down, and release. Take a wide stance here, and we're gonna do a few hip circles. There is no right or wrong way to do this. The point is to just really feel your hips and get in there, move through those places that you can find that you're holding some form of tension and you can take a little closer stance and you can do figure eights you can do circles back and forth you see those in martial arts where people really need open hips the practitioners really have to use the flexibility of the hip joint so those are really helpful and we're gonna go into really deeper hip openers so you can move slow or fast here you can get into your hips great that's going to play a squat horse stance bring your hands over your knees look over one shoulder and then over the other hands in prayer And hands on the floor bring your knees on the floor and we're gonna go into the frog stretch here we're gonna bring the feet the soles of the feet together and begin to lower your belly and your chest down towards the floor keeping the soles of the feet together and breathe calm your breath down breathe as if nothing is happening, as if you're relaxing 
in a mountain looking in the sky just really calm your breath down and lower down and breathe into your hips inner thighs Slowly, to come out of this, walk your hands back in and bring your knees just a little closer to each other, hold here for a second and let's bring the feet out to the sides, wide stance one more time, we're gonna bring the head underneath one knee if you can bring the head, just bring your shoulder under or work towards bringing the shoulder under and over to the other side. And back to center. You can bend one knee at a time, side to side, side lunge, but here we're taking wider stance. And yes, you can slide your legs out as far as you can hold in a comfortable place and to release you can bring your body down on the floor and flex your feet holding one foot over and switching sides this is optional if you have the flexibility for this otherwise hold wide-legged forward bend Great, let's face the left foot in splits or half splits or wherever you're at, you can have your hips lifted off of the floor here. Next level optional is a back bend. center walk over to the front or to face the front split over to this side open the chest either stay here or going to a back bend on this side as well you can just hold your foot here with your hand or you can go into a back bend back to center open your legs out and you can bring them closer in and shake them out soles of the feet together lower the knees down and hold Let's go into double pigeon. Here you're gonna bring your left ankle over your right knee and your left knee over your right ankle, stacking the knees and ankles on top of each other exactly. Shin bones are exactly in the same line. You don't have to bend forward here, you can hold it just like this, or you can bend forward if it feels better or more appropriate for you. Keep your chest open, breathe. If your knees are not as low as mine is, if your knee is still off of your ankle, top knee, don't worry, just hold it. Make sure that your shin bones are exactly in the same line and that your ankle is over your knee. I'm gonna bend forward here.
working on letting go of tension rather than for forcing tension. Letting go. Great, coming out of this, you can grab your left foot with your right hand and straighten it. And lift off of your mat, both legs. And switching sides, double pigeon, left calf is on the floor, stacking the ankles and the knees exactly on top of each other. And hold here, chest open, breathe. For most of us, this does feel intense. So focus on really calm, deep inhalation and really slow exhalations. Breathing as if nothing is happening, as if you're relaxing in nature, just looking up at the sky. We're doing something really relaxing. You really want to communicate to your body that it's okay to stretch, it's okay to let go. There is no stressors. We hold on to tension when we think there is stress around us. So when we breathe calmly, your body will get the message to relax and open up and stretch. Focusing on the breath. You can bend forward. Inhale, slowly come up. And prepare to straighten the leg, bringing the right knee behind the right shoulder, holding the right foot with the left hand and straighten. You don't have to straighten all the way, you can just bring your knee somewhere on your triceps. And here we're gonna leave the leg there on the shoulder and lift both legs off the floor for just a moment. Great! Alright, we're done with this part. Let's lay on our backs for abdominal exercises. Bring your hands behind your head and straighten your legs. Elbows are out to the sides in one line with the ears and we're gonna go for bicycles. Straightening the legs together in between each move. Try to keep your elbows back and your chest open. Try not to pull on your head and your neck. Move steadily and really move, lift through, reach through the elbow and lift through the belly, really find that move from the belly. Great. And you can rest soles of the feet together. Straighten the legs. reach ahead of you, palms of the hands together, legs are still out to the sides, hands over to one foot and over to the other, keep the legs out to the sides, lay back down and lower the feet down towards the floor and relaxing happy baby we're gonna bring the hands on the outer edges of the feet and lower the knees by the rib cage. One more hip opener, actually. Great. Let's bring the feet on the floor. 
and we're gonna bring the right leg in towards the chest extend the left one reach over to the right and switch over to the left and back to center pull the belly in don't allow your belly to pop out hold here lower back pressing into the mat elbows into the knees extend one more time elbows into the knees extend really try to squeeze your belly in here activating mula banda continue with this moving consciously squeezing as hard as you can we're not focusing on how many reps we're doing here we're focusing on how focused our attention is into the mula banda and the lower belly area and you can do scissors again lower back is pressing into your mat and the belly is pressed down and release you can bring your legs over your chest and you can open your legs out to the sides and lower them down soles of the feet together one more time and now we're gonna bend the knees and lift the tailbone of the floor just a slight lift of the floor keeping the lower belly in and activating Mula Banda. Lift. You can do 10 of all of these abdominal exercises and next time 20 and next time 30. Great, hug your knees into your chest. And let's go into a supine twist. Right knee across from the body. Look over to your right. And back to center. One sided happy baby. Here I'm gonna bring my leg behind my head and behind my shoulder. You can give it a try and switch sides. Supine twist. Right knee over to your left, look over to your right. Keep both shoulders on the floor and soften your obliques. And come out of this, bring your right knee behind your shoulder and possibly behind your head. And release soles of the feet together. Reclining butterfly pose. feet on the floor, feet parallel to each other, elbows down, palms of the uh, hands facing each other, come up into bridge pose, lifting your toes off of the mat, either stay in bridge or you can lift up into wheel pose, pressing the chest towards the front of your room, extending the tailbone towards the knees, Pressing the pelvis up, the feet are still parallel to each other, breathe, and come out of this, soles of the feet together, and you can bring your hands out to the sides, palms of the hands facing up, chest open,
finding a calm place within to spend the next few moments here slowly bringing your attention towards your breath and allowing the breath to go back to normal letting everything around you disappear and just observing the breath staying anchored to your breath and to the present moment stay here for as long as you need to namaste